So welcome back guys. You can tell we're standing right behind the sawmill shed here and today is going to be, or this video rather, is going to be the start of a probably a several part series on expanding this sawmill shed on back. When I first built this structure, somebody in the comments said, hey, make sure you build it about twice as big as you think you're going to need it because you're going to run out of space really, really quick. And that was the absolute truth. I ran out of space extremely fast in this shed. It's not a very big structure in the first place. I think it's about 30 by 30 by 12 or something like that. We're going to expand it back about 21 and a half feet. So we're going to more than double the size of this structure and hopefully it won't be, I won't run out of space quite as quickly as I did last time. But as you can probably tell, there's a bunch of junk on the ground out here that is kind of accumulated. So we're going to need to get that up. So this video is going to be kind of the early stages of of this uh, shed extension project here. These pieces of tin here are actually going to be used in the expansion of this shed. And up until a few days ago, they were covering up some stacks of two by fours. And I was able to sell all the two by fours that I had sitting over here, which was a good thing. So we're going to get these moved out of the way so we can do other stuff on the back of this shed. Some of my daughter's artwork there. All right guys, so we've got it looking a whole lot better behind the shed. The next step is gonna to be to take out these two trees. And honestly, I don't want to get I don't want to get rid of these trees. And the reason is uh, my parents planted these trees probably 25 years ago. I'm not really sure, but probably 25 years ago. They're silver maples. You can see they haven't gotten all that big, but in the fall, they are really, really pretty. They uh, produce some of the prettiest colors and they're actually pretty decent climbing trees as well, but they're smack dab in the way and there's just no getting around it. I, I, I had so many different thoughts of how I could, how I could, design this extension so that I could work around these trees somehow, but there's just no two ways about it. They've really got to go. I actually had my parents over here not too long ago, and uh, my dad said, you know what, they're only really useful for about a week in the fall. And that kind of put it, put it into perspective. They're really only useful for a few days in the fall when the leaves turn. And you know, that's true, but I'm still gonna miss them, I think. But anyway, we'll cut them up. Uh, maybe they'll give us some heat next year when they get seasoned in the fireplace. And uh, yeah, let's get to going here.
So our next step of course is going to be to get these boards off of the back of this shed and I would love to reuse these boards at some point on the new expansion on this shed but I'm really not sure where to put them yet so what we're going to do is just kind of play that by ear I guess and for now we're going to take these off get them covered so they won't be in the rain. And I really do hate to take these boards off because this was one of those projects where I actually took my time and did a decent job on getting the boards cut out and notched out so the rafters would fit through them a little bit better. So the fit and finish on the top for a, for a rough cut shed is actually pretty good. So uh, anyway, I, I hate to lose that, but that's just part of it, I guess. Let's go ahead and get started here. So I'll probably notice some of these are not falling and it's because of this right here. I've got tools hung on the other side of these uh, purlins or whatever you want to call them right here. And uh, these screws right here have dug into the <clears throat> into these boards. I'm just going to go over and back those out a little bit and these boards should come right out.
That's a mouthful there. This grapple is about the handiest thing I have ever had. All right, so that's all we're gonna have time to do today. We have got, if you haven't noticed, the wind's blowing really, really bad today, so I'm sure it sounds awful in the microphone, but we've got some storms coming in later today, which means I've gotta get up on the roof and get the leaves off so our house doesn't leak. Also, my daughter's got an archery tournament later on today, and we have to go there, so I need to get to work on that stuff. I won't be filming any of that, of course, but we got a good start here. Um, I got those cedar boards covered up and off of the ground, so those should be okay. They're not really stacked. They're more like piled, but it'll be okay. I'm hoping I'll be able to use those again in the final product or the finished product of this expanded shed. Uh, next week, I'm gonna be, my plan is to go over to Eric's place and get through that big stack of logs. We have been so busy that I have I've just neglected that stack of logs that we've been working on for way too long. So we're gonna cut some rafters out for this shed and I should be able to film some of that as well. I haven't had a sawmill video in a really long time on the channel, so that'll be a refreshing, refreshing change from just the chore around the house type videos I guess uh, but anyway that's gonna do it for this video thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one